Hollywood in the late 1950s and early 1960s was in a deep crisis. Television made things more competitive, leading to gimmicks such as double bills and new formats such as Cinerama and Panavision. However, the 60s would be a turning point for Hollywood. Leading up to that, we have a few films that start to become more daring. Let's start with Psycho. In 1960, Alfred Hitchcock released his film Psycho under strict rules. No one was to leave or enter the auditorium when the film began. The audience at this time, being sensitive, were shocked, thrilled and horrified. The horror and thriller genre was pushed to new boundaries. Hitchcock battled the censors for the release of this film. Even the showing of a toilet flushing was considered indecent. Psycho was one of my most beloved films and it really surprised me on first viewing. Not because it was horrifying, but for how thrilling and unpredictable it was. Hitchcock is entitled the mass for suspense for nothing. His use of the camera, voyeurism, sexuality and psychology are among his stylistic traits and themes and Psycho has all of them. Stanley Kubrick would be another significant figure in cinematic change. In the 1960s he made two impactful films. Dr. Screenglove was a film released at a time when the Cold War was on everyone's consciousness. Dr. Screenglove is a screwed up satire examining the ridiculousness of the politics of war. As a dark comedy, its content is quite daring and I think this is one of the funniest films of all time. And now we're in the second half of the 1960s. It is then that the most significant and important change in cinema history was taking place. Now we were about to see where cinema could take us. <laughs> 